We've all been there. You've set your goals for the year, but now you've got to keep them. Oh my God, how are you going to do that? Keep watching, because I'm going to tell you. Greetings sweet things, my name is Fern if we haven't met before and this channel is all about dating, love and relationships and all that surrounds that. Today we're going to do a bit of a personal development type video. It's the start of the year, we've just set our goals and how are we going to keep them going, keep that momentum up as we move through the year. We know it's hard, we failed many times in the past, but 2020 is our year to succeed. Tip number one, don't set your sights too high. I've been there. I'm gonna wake up early this year. So you get up at 6am for the first two mornings and you feel like the boss. Everything is going to plan. And then it starts to slide because 6am actually feels like a really early time to get up in the morning. And is it actually that necessary? Oh, and then a week later you're getting up at 7 and then it becomes 9. Where did it all go wrong? You expected too much of yourself too soon. Better to gradually work on something than throwing yourself in the deep end and realizing that all you're gonna do is drown. Tip number two, be motivated by the process and not just the end goal. The best way to think about this one is that nine to five that you hate, that you're just doing simply because it gives you money. It's the same with your goals. If you're only motivated by this amazing thing that you think you're gonna get at the end of it, it's hard to carry that motivation out to actually get to that point because what you're doing is such a slog that you can't make yourself do it on a consistent basis. It is better to find something that you enjoy doing along the way so that even if it builds up to something that you're going to get ultimately that's going to be great, you've enjoyed the journey as much as the end destination. Some good ways of enjoying the journey more are to realise that you're learning new skills and you're growing and developing as a person so you're getting something out of every single stage of it not just what you're going to get at the end of the process. Tip number three have accountability from somebody else. It is so much harder for us to keep to things when we only are answering to ourselves because, well, it doesn't really matter. Who else is going to know? I'm just going to sneakily not do what I said I was going to do. And what's going to happen? Eh, what can you do? You're cheating yourself. That is the only thing you are doing in these scenarios. In fact, scientifically, it has been proven that when our behavior is witnessed by others, we are much more likely to act in a better way because we fundamentally care what other people think about us. So get yourself an accountability partner, somebody that can keep you on track, that can make sure you're actually sticking to what you say you're going to do and see the magical difference that it will make to keeping to your goals this year. Tip number four, appreciate the progress that you're making. Tony Robbins, who is a very, very wise man indeed, says that happiness comes from progress. It is the most satisfying thing when we see that we've gone from this point to this point. And even if that doesn't mean reaching the ultimate goal that we're aiming for, we've still developed in our journey. So a good thing is to write down where you're at now and keep a little log of how you're getting on. It's easy for us to get frustrated because we're always wanting more and more and more, but we forget that we've still come a heck of a long way from where we were in the beginning. Tip number five is fully invest in your goals. Make it so that achieving this goal is really the only option. There's an old saying that says, if you want to take the island, burn the boats. In other words, don't give yourself any excuses or reasons or distractions to do anything other than what you want to do. People often say to me, how do you deal with not being able to see? And my answer is always, I don't have any other choice. You just have to find a way. If you your goal is the only thing that is in your life and you just need to find a way to achieve it, you're much more likely to get there because you're fully invested in it. You've committed to this goal and you've made it your primary aim. 
So there you have it, the first five tips to how you can keep to your New Year's goals this year and really make them stick. Now, I had way too much to say in this video, so I've made a part two with my next five tips on how to stick to your New Year's goals if you're really into this topic and you've committed to making 2020 the best year yet. Give this video a thumbs up if this is your year to stick to your goals and let me know in the comments, how do you do it? Do you have any amazing tips for keeping to your goals, being consistent and getting the outcome that you so desire. I would love to hear them because I struggle just as much as the next person. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. I will be back before you know it, but until then, see ya. Because you are growing. Tip number four, appreciate, oh my God. So there you have it, five starting. <laughs> Tip number two, be motivated by the, pr <laughs> that is really hard to say. Tip number two. <laughs> Tip number two. <laughs> oh God. He'll get really, oh Christ alive. Stick around. <laughs>